Abandoned and in flames, a pro-Russian checkpoint on the way to the eastern Ukrainian town of Slavyansk. Some progress finally, perhaps, in the Kiev authorities' much trumpeted operation to re-establish their control here. But what's the real significance of this move and what's the potential cost in terms of inflamed tensions on the ground and anger in Moscow? Kiev says up to five separatists were killed as its forces advanced here. And this was the scene in Mariupol, where the central government says it's back in control of the city hall. But the exact situation and circumstances remain somewhat unclear. In Donetsk, at the centre of the pro-Russian revolt, they seem as entrenched as ever, as they wait and wonder about what might come next. And already, from the Russian president, a somewhat ominous response. If the Kiev authorities started using the Ukrainian army against the country's population, he said... It is not an acute phase of confrontation. It is a sort of punitive operation. It will have ramifications, including for the decision takers and the relations between our states. And not long after Mr. Putin spoke, Russia's defense ministry announced new military exercises near the border with Ukraine. International tensions were already simmering again anyway. From far off Japan, President Obama had accused the Russian authorities of not living up to their part of last week's diplomatic bargain to defuse the crisis. So far, at least, we have seen them uh, not abide by the spirit or the letter of uh, the agreement in Geneva. Uh, and instead, we continue to see uh, militias and uh, armed men uh, taking over buildings, harassing uh, folks who are uh, disagreeing with them. Helicopters circle over Slavyansk as the international accusations fly back and forth over who's to blame for the failure to de-escalate this high-stakes standoff. It's scary, really scary. I'm afraid for my baby. My baby has only just been born. I'm really very worried. These unverified pictures apparently show the Ukrainian military taking one of the checkpoints outside the town. But now it seems they've withdrawn and the pro-Russian separatists are back. In such confusion, the risk of miscalculation in this crisis, both within Ukraine and beyond, remains. Nick Childs, BBC News.